Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Romanov of iSign Media Solutions. How are you today? I'm good, thank you, Tracy. I want to start by asking you about what are these intelligent signs? You just made a deal with uh, LED Solutions. Can you tell us about this deal you just announced? Absolutely. LED Solutions is an outdoor signage company that's been putting up outdoor signage in uh, very top-level commercial uh, locations throughout Canada, uh, including restaurants, QSR, uh, people like H&R Block, etc. The company is going to be the first to offer what they call uh, an intelligent sign. That means that they will incorporate one of our uh, smart antennas into the outdoor signage, allowing that particular client or that particular commercial place to uh, message uh, mobile uh, phones that pull into their parking lot, come within proximity, whether they're coming or a message when they're leaving. So one way or the other, they'll be interactive with their clients outside the building. And of course, our Investor Intel audience, I'm sure you're appreciating, we've got intelligent signs, we've got a smart antenna, and of course, this is this the future of advertising? I think it is. As you know, advertising follows technology. First it was billboards, then it was radio, then it's TV, and most recently, of course, laptops, PCs, and now mobile devices. So advertising does follow technology. I'm very excited about the intelligent signs. I'm very interested in this, uh, in this sector in general. But you just made a deal with rich multimedia technologies and airport kiosks. I think I read 5,000 in Mexico. Is this right? And uh, talk to us about this. Absolutely. We've uh, signed a contract, a licensing agreement, to uh, allow rich media technologies to insert our smart antenna into their kiosks, therefore allowing a, a customer to take a look at their uh, signage on their mobile, uh, on their telephone, and at the same time receive coupons and messaging to their phone. I think you were explaining to me before this interview, and I, and I would like everybody just to hang in there. This is very interesting. So it's my understanding that if I'm at the airport, my phone's run out of charge, I can hook it in, and I get five minutes to, to call anywhere for free. Is this correct? Yes. This is called a media phone. This is the replacement of the old coin phone that we grew up with. And so what's happening is that Rich Media Technologies is one of the leaders in introducing what they call media phones. That's the category. It allows you to make a free call anywhere in the world or anywhere locally uh, as long as uh, you're tethered to the screen and you see the advertisements being promoted to you while you're talking. Okay, so great. So subconsciously while I'm trying to talk to you, someone I care about, a family member, I'm trying to get home in another country, I can have a free call as long as I'm willing to watch this advertisement. Is that correct? Absolutely. And it's a convenience because you're, obviously your cell phone may not be uh, powered up properly. You can be charging it while you're doing that five-minute talk. And of course, the reason why they're, they're, they're making a deal with you, Alex, my understanding is that you will have one of the most successful advertorial rates in the world. Like, I think I, I read 20% with a deal you did with Coca-Cola. Uh, have I read this wrong? Help me understand. No, that's correct. Uh, it was actually 26% sales increase when Coca-Cola did a six-month uh, or six-week uh, trial in Atlanta from a convenience store chain they had a 26 percent increase in sales and uh, that also gives them a, a, a huge multiple of impressions and they also get to know which uh, customers at what time accepted or rejected their offer that day. So with rich multimedia technology technologies do they have global uh, kiosks in uh, airports around the world or how big are they or how big can this contract be for you and for the shareholders of course? Rich Multimedia Technologies is a company that's been involved in the phone business for about 20 years. They're in approximately 300 airports around the world with different services but most recently they've announced the uh, Telestore digital storefront uh, device which is a media phone with of course a, a screen that uh, promotes advertising and they're installing our antenna into that particular device so that they can interact with uh, customers that use their device. So of course in the new year you've had a lot happen. You had that big deal with We Build Apps 
and I thought that was very interesting. Can you just give us an update on how that's going? Absolutely. Uh, we build apps as uh, concentrated currently on uh, uh, theme parks and there's a very large uh, park in uh, Cleveland called uh, Crocker Park and Crocker Park is a combination of entertainment, uh, commercial sites, etc. They get approximately 16 million customers or visitors a year and uh, We Build Apps is now arranging to install 100 antennas of our smart antennas throughout the park. So they'll be messaging and offering rewards and incentives to the folks that are uh, visiting the park. So Alex, with all of this news, just in the last, I don't know, 40 days, what should we as shareholders anticipate in, say, the next quarter? Well, I, I can say uh, with full confidence that uh, within the next 45 days, we will receive the first shipments of the 5,000 licensed units that uh, we signed up with uh, rich multimedia technologies. So there's one thing that we're looking forward to as we near our year end. And we also see a, a couple of other major accounts coming on board. One of them, of course, uh, would be LED Solutions, who deals with uh, very, very key branded uh, enterprises such as Cineplex, and they have others that they're involved in that we hope to uh, have them benefit from, and mutually we would benefit in revenue. Well, Alex, I can see why your shareholders are so enthusiastic about iSign Media Solutions, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. Take care.